Hello and welcome to Wendell's Guide to Yours Defeating Morchoke Heroic in Dragon Soul as a Hunter. Um, so basically this fight is almost identical to the, how it is on normal. The difference is that 10% Morchoke divides himself into two We're not doing um, with the exact same abilities, HP and everything. So essentially you have to, you're going to be 5 manning Morchoke is what it is. So because you're going to be 5 man him, you're also going to need, as a hunter, you are now going to have to start soaking the uh, stomps in addition to soaking the crystals along with everyone else. So to help make this easy, well, it's not really easy but <laughs> since you're a hunter, um, but you're going to want to start off by MDing the add whichever more truck you're on here, onto your tank and then once you do that you're going to want to start basically doing a dip dive thing where you run in um raptor strike like you just saw me do and then run back out immediately um whenever he, either the stomp is coming or the red the nays crystal is about to explode and you want to do this so that you're taking 20 percent less damage which will help you survive and help with your Isn't healer's it? mana and healing issues. You'll see later on in the fight, I like literally Beware. almost die, and I only survived because of my Rapture Shrike. Um, other than that, that, it's still exactly the same. Time. He does the stomps, he does the resonate yeah, crystals, so you're soaking both of those. Uh, occasionally, he'll go so into his black phase, and you just want to get behind a spike and do your best to try and DPS while the, behind a spike. You're, you're, you're going to get your most DPS time while behind a spike simply because you're free to cast. Um, during the normal phase, you're doing a lot of dipping into melee range, which is going to really nerf your DPS, but it's kind of necessary in order to get those Raptor Strikes off. Which is really unfortunate that we don't have the min range thing and mop right now, but gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> So, as long as you can help your healers with surviving and everything, um, it'll go down eventually, so. So just pretty much the main thing on this is just watching the cooldown on the stomps and watching and making sure that you're watching the proper cooldown because like one will say stomp and the other will say stomp for the um, like mimic stomp. So you just want to make sure you've got the right stomp <laughs> um, and right resonating crystal. So as long as you're watching those cooldowns, yeah, you can see I'm almost dead here. Beware. Um, just dip in, get that raptor strike off, dip out. When we come back. Limit the uh, amount of time you're in melee range. Yeah, you can see I'm at like 3% right here. <laughs> I was like, uh... If I had not been Raptor Striking, I'd be dead. So, it's kind of a tough fight for Hunters just because you're having to constantly do that dip in and out thing, but... If you can properly manage the cooldown on your Raptor Strike and everything, it, you'll be able to maximize your DPS. So instead of like using a Raptor Strike when it's not necessary. <laughs> so I hope this guide was informative on how to defeat more chalk heroic as ten man, as a hunter. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, first, congrats, beat up the cluster. The temple is ours. Fortify your positions within. Hand of Morchok, one-handed axe. Nice heal spear, by the way. Yep, Thanks, trying to keep them up. The spec worked out better this time, yeah? Oh, much uh, better, and then so did the enchants as well. 